our line. Now you can straighten it. Right on the right. No, 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 not the camera. Just turn the camera. It's, the painting's not crooked. There you go. Good enough. <laughs> Hello, Barbara from Las Vegas. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, happy Monday. Hello. We're, oh, Shirley's here. Hey, Shirley girly. I hope you're feeling well. I got paint on my shirt. Sorry, put my hair in a ponytail. I'm pulling my own hair. <laughs> Do you want me to pull it for you? Yeah. I like me to pull my hair. Okay. Hello. Answer a quick question. Welcome, everyone. Hopefully, Brian's on his way with the berries. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm not baking. <laughs> A little inside joke, guys. Something Alan posted. Everybody thinks I need to bake. All I, right, boo boo. I agree. You need to bake. And I'm not talking about in the sun. Oh, either. you're welcome, Linda. I hope everybody found that informative. Um, I like to always, well, about every six months, put a new mixing video up. Um, just to refresh, see if we add anything new. Good. I'm glad it helped everybody. It's getting that consistency. It's so hard to capture it on the camera, but... That's why I used a scale, thinking maybe that would help you guys a little bit. <clears throat> Brian, where's my berries? <laughs> All right, so last week. Last week. This was the hair, hair catcher. Yeah. That really was boring in the center with the blue and so we put a balloon to it came out a little better color combination i'm not really I like crazy that metal. but i'll pull that up closer to the camera i like that metal. that's kind of cool and i like that you didn't get like a ton of cells through the whole thing hi so cheryl then we salvaged some runoff was that runoff from yours or from mine that was from yours that one so when you hear about us talking about skins just excess runoff paint that we put cool. onto photo paper let it dry and then you can choose what section you really like and cut it out put a cabbage on on it or, or how, how do they how do they pronounce it in cabbage on 
O'Malley. In, in Florida. <laughs> we'll never let her live that one down, will we? <laughs> Susan's and got berries. Jinkuya. <laughs> These are also from that runoff, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, two little box tops that I'll resin. So then you did this little thing here. That was a ring pour, wrecked ring pour without silicone. Where's your cells? I didn't want cells. That's why I did it without silicone. I love that painting, actually. That looks really, really cool. It's going to look gorgeous with resin on it. Look at the flow in that. And the gold just pops. Mm-hmm. So then for my second painting. My version of the flip and drag with a black base. And you used flashes and um, iridescent colors in there. So that changes color. I was playing with it the other day, especially the bottom, the pink there on the bottom. When you tip that, tip it towards the light, you can see the flash iridescence, how it changes. It's pretty cool. I look cool with resin on it too. And then These are from last Monday, Diane. You're going to have to move those, darling. I know. And this was the big one. Was this 24 by 24? I think it's 20 by 20. Oh, careful. That's what it was doing to you last week, too, when you were. Yeah, it doesn't like. Laying me. the paint down. It doesn't like to be close. No close up for you. And that one was done with. Uh, I think mostly Paraj Posse paints. So Alan's going to do regular pours tonight. I'm going to do two bloom spins for my living room. So that way I can uh, get them done. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the blue paint that I put on the fireplace wall. So you guys will get to see that color anyway. Yeah. Just set it, honey. Just set it because I have like no rack room at all. I have got to varnish paintings. So what I'm going to do too, guys, I'm not comfortable doing an auction just yet. I think I'll wait until um, more people get back to work. So what I'm going to do is just take, I'm going to get them varnished and resined and whatever, and I'm going to start an album on my Christina Welch art page and on my personal page and in the group. So, and they're going to be marked pretty cheap. Uh, the ones that I'll be charging more for will go into Etsy, but the other ones I'll, uh, I'm going to offer them pretty cheap and just sell them. We have like over a hundred paintings here right now. So I need to unleash the beast. I'm already unleashed. Are you? <laughs> Beastie boy. You got to get to work on that. She shed. My nuts too hot. Yeah, I got the shipping table cleaned off today and I got the paint jug wall done. So I'm happy with that for now. And Shelly and Maria already know what the rest of the studio looks like. Hey, can you show the, the tiles before you start? Sure. So the last video was yesterday, I believe. And these are the coasters that I made. Yeah. yeah. We'll show them to you dry. Because when you pick them up and turn them, you'll get to see that PBO iridescent in there. God, those look so different on the screen than they do in real life. The colors.
so that those corners are if we tip it honey tip it forward see that PBO I just love that shine So those came out really well. I was shocked how many cells came up. I wasn't expecting that many. So I might try that um, recipe without silicone for coasters and see how it reacts. These are going to look great with resin on them. Oh yeah, they're going to be beautiful with resin on them for sure. Yep. Good evening, Von Nana. I love using brown. I'm sorry. It's just one of my favorite colors. So I have a question for you. What's that? What the heck oh, is that? Oh, I was that? doing a tester. That's a tester for my bloom tonight. I wanted to see if I could use a silver um, cell activator. It did not play well because the colors underneath were too light. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> you better move this or I'm going to stick my elbow in it. No video on this? I love brown with um, gold and turquoise and white. Those four colors just automatically go together. It's very southwesterny, neutral colors. Brown, gold. Hey, Tammy. Turquoise. Sleeping Beauty. And what? What was that fourth color? The PBO. And I also used, um, well, I used the PBO and I used the Peacock Pearl that's behind not you. That, one. that does not, yeah. Use it up because I need to make a fresh one. You just want me to wash more bottles. I sure do. And what else? Peacock pearl. There should be one on the table somewhere. It looks turquoise right there. It's not marked. It's got silicone in it. Though. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> I appreciate you. Look out. So we started a wish list on Amazon now. So if you guys want to ever get us anything that's on our list, you can just buy it on Amazon and they ship it directly to us. Shh. I don't need anything. It's just um, painting supply stuff. It's not anything for you, Alan. <laughs> Shelly posted the link that will take you directly to my wish list. Okay. Let the games begin. We wash them in here, Mary. We have these big um, plastic tubs. And he just dumps the water outside. I washed jugs last night. 26 of them. <laughs> so what do you think? You don't need a, no, you don't need, oh, I mean for a base, I would use the regular pouring paint. So it all flows together. There's, there's like brand new bottles down here if you just want to shake one and open it and pour it. This one? 
Yeah, that none of those have silicone. What size is that? 18 by 18? 18? 18 square. Okay. Color choices. Copier. <laughs> well, you gave them to me. I didn't so. use brown. I didn't use burnt umber. I used dark chocolate. Yeah, I'm going with burnt umber. One of the Posse Gold, Gold Rush. Another one of the Posse Paints, Sleeping Beauty, Turquoise Shimmer. PVO, Green Blue Iridescent. And what was this last one? Got Girl from Decor. No label. No, because I took it out of the jug. Here, you can show this instead. Decor. Girl. I'm not big on craft paint, but there are certain colors that I absolutely love. Um, you can dirty cup it, right? Dirty cup it. So. Not, or, Take the top right off and pour it on, pour a puddle on your bed. Well, taking all the fun out of it. Puddle. <laughs> Getting there. You made me take the top off. Because we'd be here till tomorrow if we waited for you to squirt that whole canvas. Yes. <laughs> it's being, um, it's showing some compassion for our viewers. Brian's probably got a load of laundry to change. Everybody's probably grabbing their snacks right now. What about around the edge, too? My cake, score your corners is probably pretty much all you'd have to do. Because you're going to use enough paint. you got to have a big cup of paint for that. I watched Brian's video today. Did you watch Brian's video today? When did I have a chance? You did a blowout spinner bloom with the white cell activator this time. You did watch the black one, Brian. No, no, no. No? Mm -mm. No, I wouldn't spray that because it'll drip down on your canvas. Gadget. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Big cup. He watched it with me, Brian, while we were out here yesterday. Big cup. Is that too small? No, that's perfect, actually. My goodness, you just need all kinds of help tonight. I'm helpless, you know that. Okay. Here it goes. Um, I told you to put white in the cup first. So here, start over. <laughs> Why? Which white? This? Yeah, that's fine. Or the one I had. Doesn't matter. Did you shake that? I did not shake this one. You're stressing me out. I'm not stressing you out. You just your mind has a hard time focusing on one thing at a time, doesn't it? Are you still at work? See, Brian says she told you. <laughs> Brian, I'm still waiting for my berries. Gold brush. 
we need to, I've used a little more paint than that, honey, so your layers are thicker. Because when you're pouring into the calendar, it will just all come out one color. Uh, do the PPO next. And then, you're have, close. then you have to do the gold again between those other two. Between the other two. See, I didn't, I didn't use that. I didn't use Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. I only used those four colors. It's going to be one of those happy accidents. Brian says, you wait until after they turn to dust if you're waiting on me. <laughs> I take it that's about your berries. Yes. Well, but he made an announcement in the group that we were going to be making cobbler. I know I caught it today. I wasn't on Facebook much yesterday. I'm too busy tearing my studio apart. They're going to need a little more paint, don't you think? Yep. Yep, you want to cover that canvas, yeah. Well, let's let's say I have an eighth of it done, Shell. I think once I get everything out into the art house, I don't even call it a shed anymore. The she shed. Art house. She shed. I think I'll uh, have more room to play out here. Jeez, I just watched the bot last night for you. You're going to have too much gold, I think. Never fear. He's got white down, Bryce, so he should be okay. Yeah, we got about, what, 12, 13 ounces? Yeah, probably like 13, 14. Time to get messy. Here we go. one spot. Is it going down or is it just sitting there? It's just sitting there. What you could have done too is flipped it over and done it the other side and it would drip down onto the canvas. It's kind of fun too. Hi, Debra. Ooh, pretty. Are you dripping all over my floor? No. Neither one of us have shoes on tonight. <laughs> Oopsie. That's okay. It's okay. That's okay. Yeah, what do you care, right? <laughs> I clean the floor anyways. Shirley's here, Susan. She's bored. She can't have visitors. 
It's weird how that brown all stuck on that one side like that, isn't it? Maybe it'll open up. It'll open up. Shelly wants you to spin it. <laughs> oh, sure. Yes, these have silicone. Yes. Anything that we use in a bottle usually has silicone in it. If we don't use it, we'll tell you. Except for the base paint. Yeah, the base paint didn't have it. She's in, um, she's still in rehab. All right, let's tilt that baby. Let's rock and roll. I haven't done a sage and brown. That sounds pretty. I haven't done one of those in a long time. It's a little more canvas to handle, isn't it? <laughs> Just put your more. apron on because you are going to get paint on your belly. No, I'm not. My belly ain't that big. Okay, now you can tilt it. Make sure you use your copy hands. Careful that white corner. Just pull it with your finger. I know, Linda, I am too. I thought he'd have a ton of gold in there. Fooled you. You're not done stretching yet, though. Um, I would say center. pistachio is green. Like pistachio pudding is green. Hi, Laurie. <clears throat> I'm waiting to see if that white's going to sink some more. Got a lot of pain on here. It's flowing good, though. It's just right. Um... I would use an olive green and then maybe a touch of yellow and white. That should give you a pistachio color. Just a touch of yellow though, not a lot. Spinner would have been better. Not necessarily. Gotta get it out of that glare though. Hard to see it. Is that better? Yeah, I kind of like that a lot. You kind of do? I kind of like it a lot. Because I know that white's going to sink some more and give you a few more cells. Torch it, get some of these air bubbles out. I turned out. that torch down, then you can turn it up. 
just the button on the side there. Push it all the way this way. There you go. There you oh. go. <laughs> Yes, there was silicone in all the paint, except for the white base. I can't wait to see that PBO in there when it's dry. Uh, that was the green blue, Linda. And it looks like it's right in the middle of the painting. I think I should leave it alone. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with it. We're going to have a hard time with painting tonight because the two I'm doing are big. <laughs> I might have to uh, put one on the shipping table since it's cleaned off. Clean up those edges. Well, that'll match the coasters. <laughs> Off the drying rack it goes. Look at all that paint on that pad. What paint? Oh, I don't see any paint. Skins? There's probably enough there to do some tiles. Uh, it's kind of brown it's here, though. Let me pull one and see what it looks like. I get a glove on. There's, you've got three more boxes of gloves there, darling. Don't you fret none. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. These are four by four tiles. That Shelly hooks me up with. That's actually really pretty. Annie says, I thought you had to flood canvas before you poured. No. This mm -hmm. was interesting. He started with a puddle and then, of course, took his edges. Over the edge. Um, yeah, thank you. She's going in for another one. Yeah, can you hold my pad right here? Probably get one from the top too. Sharon says a dip would be pretty. I'm always worried with dips with brown. Number two. Linda said her Close, art room please. is so hot. Her painting crack, even with GAC 800. Yeah, you have to be careful with your drying when it's hot like this. I have AC out here, so mine stays pretty consistent. Yeah, I'm pretty consistent. Sorry, guys, I got a chest thing going on, so I'm very coffee. I have to go to the doctor Wednesday, so. See if you can give me a different kind of inhaler. Allergies and stress do not do well. And yes, I have stress. She has no stress. I have stress from that art house. Because <laughs> I can't get out there and play. It's too hot. 
It's only been in the mid to upper 90s. Yeah, that's off. And there's three. I get one more. One Another more. One for a set. Yeah, I'm going to have to pick up some brown. Maybe I can get this spot here. And go here. And then mix it with this one. See what that does. And I kind of softened it too much. Ooh, it's a pretty tile, though. Looks like ocean. With a reef. Let's see if I can stretch it a little bit. Thank you, Shelly. Brown's popping. I should be okay. She's complimenting you, but it's my paint. Wow. She does, doesn't she, Susan? What's that? She says she make it look so easy. Practice. You guys know I'm pouring all the time, so. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just do it. If I don't like it, I scrape it. <laughs> Mary Ellen says it's very beachy. Beachy. All right, let's get Ellen's mess out of here. And let's play. Let me get my mess out of here. Ann says she loves the way you did the tiles. That's pretty. I always like to squish it and see what it looks like. It looks like a baby's diaper. No, it doesn't. It had blue in there. What do you mean like that? You know what that conversation is going to lead to? <laughs> it's not dinner time. Okay. The shot says she's the queen of scrape. Here we go. I gotta bring him up. I bring these up. That's the color of my wall. See, I'm getting paint on me. I got blue on me already for priming this. I just put one coat of paint primer on it. The, the paint itself. Uh, Ah. All right. Where did I put it? So Annie wants to know, she says, beautiful tiles, will you resin now? Yes. They will cure for a couple of weeks and then we'll resin them. I have a lot of resin work to do. If Tammy's here, I'm getting to it, honey. And so she's learned so much from us, too, in just three live shows. And she just wants to say thank you. So I have, this is the blue paint that we used on our wall. I added just a little bit of water and some GAC 800. And we have Frederica, 335. Good morning from Germany. Good morning. So I'm going to use Stargazer from... Color art. It's a pretty color. And I took our silver spoon, mixed that up from the Parash Posse silver spoon. You were born with a silver spoon, weren't you? No, I was not. Gosh. I got it. Interference blue. No, Linda, we didn't change from gray. We just went with one accent wall over the uh, fireplace. Yeah, so it's like this and this. 
kinda, sorta. And then I'm gonna use Arctic Opal. Hello from Minnesota is Deanne. This color is gorgeous. All right. Bandana says, you doing a bloom? I'm doing two blooms tonight because I need to get these paintings done for my walls. And they look kind of bare. They're very bare. So I'll take a little bit to the edge. Do my little cake swirl. That pays off from working at the bakery. <laughs> Deanne, we're in uh, North Carolina. I think I might need a little bit more. And Deborah Packer, Patrick wants to know what and how much of the interference blue did you make? Uh, this is uh, primary elements from Color Art. And this was the um, bloom base. Are you asking about the recipe for the base? All that information is on video 500. If you want to watch. Medium ratio? Uh, three to one. And Shelly wants to know, is that a cradle board? It is. I'm doing two cradle boards tonight. All right. Let me see if I can get a couple of those out. And then Anna wants to know, is that a pillow paint? This is my house paint. Um, it's satin finish, but it's it's not high gloss, but you can still use it. So, what'd you do with that tile? You mean that one is it? You took it and you... Never mind. I don't need it. Never mind. So, I'm going to start with the Stargazer. I think my line is here. I want to check, make sure it's not a goob. There you go. So, I played around a little bit colors. So we'll see how that comes out. It is a goop. I'm glad I caught that. They don't look pretty when they dry. Okay, here we go. Hello, Nancy from Michigan. Welcome. I'm slacking. So let's start with our stargazer. Then I'm going to go with the interference blue. Looks white. It's not when it's tilted, though. I have a hard time focusing. I'm going to do now. You can lick your blue hand. What needs to get over it? Welcome, Monica, from Alberta, Canada. Okay, this is the Arctic Opal. Gorgeous color. It's got a little bit of the sea goddess in there. I love when uh, Leslie mixes those colors together and makes one. All right, and this is our silver. Rajpasi silver. I put two spoonfuls in. I just want a little bit of um, metallic look to it. Okay, so I'm going to do two. I'm doing a silver CA, which is our cell activator. One line. And then I'm going to do black because it just worked so well in my tester. I tried white, got nothing. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to blow and then we're going to spin. Can you grab me a cardboard? I think I have one on the uh, shipping table. Right to your left.
Sorry about the noise. You need another one over here, don't you? No. Uh -uh. It doesn't spider that far. Look at those cells. That's so pretty in there. I don't even have to blow anything in because this is going to come off. Maybe a little bit there. That's just bringing up the dirt. Sue Janice says she loves it as it is. I have to spin it. Oh. I have too much paint on there. All right, let me um, see if I get a couple bubbles out. No. It's one thing you'll find with house paint. The bubbles do not pop very well. And you don't want to stay over it because you'll skin it. Okay. That was kind of lame, but... Oh, it's all coming this way. I didn't want that. I mean, it's okay. I can't. I have to get that off now. Shelly says she wants to see the nozzle for the blow dryer. It just got wet. It's on my foot. <laughs> it got me that time. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I like it just like that. Um, <laughs> I was yelling at you for dripping on the floor. <laughs> what are you doing? All right. You're messy. I am messy. <gasps> I saw that. I caught it. I'm just going to set this right here. I'm going to use it. Oh, I just got blue paint all over that, too. I am being slobbed tonight. There are a couple bubbles I want to pop, though. Uh, I need a skewer. I think, guys. You're getting a couple beautifuls. And Shelly says leave it because she's a fan of negative space. The chat says, don't change it. I don't want to change it. It's past that point now. Monica's like, wow. Hello, Andrew from Sydney. How are you? All right. I think I got them all popped. Okay, it's staying like it is. Get my edges wiped off. Okay, so Brian's got a question for you. Yes, sir. Those paints you used, are they powder pigments or regular paints? I used both. I used three powders and two paints. Can you set me up a cup? Just one cup? Uh, it's got to be a big, juggy cup, though, because it's got to set in the middle of this. That's fine. Put it back there. All right, moving that one. I think you should do your next bloom. While I have it out here? Yep. All right, I guess I'm doing two in a row, guys. That's really going to bother me there, though. i got to put another pad down or something. Give me a parchment sheet. I changed my gloves. Dirty. If you can get over there. I'll clean the blue paint off my foot while I'm waiting. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, a little one or a big one? Big one's fine. I got a little one. Oh, now you're tracking blue paint all over the studio. Yeah, 
He's got blue feet. And Smurf. You're Smurf? Slab tonight. Having a rough day. Having a rough week. All right, pop up there. Towards me. Gotta go over the edge. Don't fight me. <laughs> okay, motherboard. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I bet you get different results. Oh, I probably stuff. will, yeah. Man, I got paint all over me. Yeah, I touch. Don't touch me. Come here. Let me hug you. Look. You did it to me. <laughs> Good evening, Daphne. Oh. That's what happens when you put them on a wet hand. Kind of like that day you were missing an appendage. Hope that doesn't uh, what? see here. I have to fix that. All right. Okay, Andrew's got all his problems straightened out. He had his headphones in wrong. <laughs> Andrew, what time is it down under? Morning there, isn't it? Like tomorrow. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Andrew loves the spinner. I do too. A lot of my viewers don't, though. I have very little views on these things. I don't get it. I want to get that inside wet. Maybe that'll make a difference. One tiny line. All right. Okay, so Dan, what's on? Where do you purchase your rounds? Michael these are these carry. are from VEA. I think. I think Marie and Shelly might have a link for VEA. I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Sue Johnson says she ordered a spinner. Now she needs a hazmat tent to catch the spray. Get um, in my Amazon shop. <clears throat> I have the uh, puppy pool. Works great. Hello, Anna from Shirts, Texas. Appreciate the love. Uh, Fly Chick wants to know how long is the sale? On our paint? Yeah. Uh, till July 31st. Andrew says it's 11.52 where he is, a.m. on Tuesday. What did I do next? Did I do silver or did I do the Arctic? You did the silver last. The silver over the silver? Okay, you're right. I got confused there for a minute. I didn't stack them properly. Brian says, nah, just watch my videos. You don't need to catch that spray. <laughs> so 
I like the way our silver played with that. Have to mix up some more of our colors. I know a lot of artists use our colors to do the blooms. I just have so many of the primary elements, I always play with those first. Brian uses our colors. That pet pool works really well, guys. Yeah, Ray we, can use, vouch for that. we used that when we were in uh, Arkansas. Okay, Silver CA. And then the black. I have to have the black to define those cells. All right, hair dryer. This one's in my Amazon shop. Show them the nozzle. That everybody's asking about the nozzle. It's got the flat end. First, first button is cool. Linda Brown says, so when you use the Parage Passage for blooms from the bottle, do you add the acrylic to the pigment? Not from the bottle, from the jar. From the jar, just the pigment. If you want to do blooms with the jar ready to pour, just pour it the way it is. And then put your cell activator on top of that. That one's gonna matter. Okay, I'm going in. I'll let them bloom a little bit before I spin her. Okay, guys, I'm going to spin her. Oops, I picked up the turntable on that one. I got to move her back. I'll get back over there. behind it. I think that's it. I don't want to spin it again. I love that silver. God, that silver comes really well in there. And I like that they're not exactly the same, you know, because nothing ever comes out exactly the same. But they're still the same colors. They'll complement each other from across the room. Okay, so Deanne's got a question. But she learned the base boards over the canvas from us two, and she's done 10 now. Yep. How do you price the set? The set? The set. I've never sold them as a set. I guess it would I guess it would decide where you have to let me know where you're selling them. If you're selling them online, always charge more because you have either fees or you have you know you got the more shipping stuff that you have to buy. What you looking for? My poker. 
There it is. <laughs> it was stuck in the paint. When I pop my holes, I like to fill them back in because otherwise you have a crater. I pop my bubbles. And yeah, it's just loving those colors together. Yeah, this worked out really well. Laura says this one's prettier than the last one. I'm not doing another one to outdo this one. <laughs> I could sit and spin all day though. I like them a lot. This one's gonna have to go on the shipping table. You sure? Yep. Because I don't have enough room there. Beautiful. I'm gonna put your pillow over here. No, I wouldn't put it there because you might use it by mistake for a base coat. I don't do You've done that before. Not me. Yes, you did with the white. See how he forgets? He forgets. All right. I think I'm done poking. Yeah, it's pretty. Let's see if I can lift it up a little bit. So you guys can see that. Interference. When I go this way, you should be able to see it better. That silver's gorgeous. You got me a jug? There's a jug. Okay. Don't drip all over. I'm running. Phew. All right, let me see. That's not too bad, I can set it down here. Look at all those skins you could get. They don't, they don't make pretty skins though. I already tried. You have to like blow it out and then dip a cup of cabochon in it. These aren't silly at all, though. Um, let me move these. Get out of my way. Get Excuse out of you. My way. <laughs> Linda says, glad to know that your silver works well in the blues. Yeah, it worked great. Andrew says, he loves me silver. I love silver, too. Such an underrated color. Everything's gold, 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 gold. Everybody wants gold. I love the sterling silver from Deco Art, too. And you don't hear it saying that much about the Deco Art colors too much. I, I like some of them. I'm not a fan of all of them. We used to be into the, go ahead. We used to be into the worn penny and all that stuff, remember? Geez, how do I follow that up? I do whatever you want. It's okay, Catherine. Have a good evening. Thank you for joining us. Ah, I'm so out of breath. It's because you're so excited about your paintings. likes the chestnut bronze. Do something with chestnut bronze. What? Nothing. He's, he can't hear me because he's over by the air conditioner. 
<laughs> yeah, Bri, what's that like? <laughs> I like when he said it in his video. I'm not the neatest person. <laughs> size is that? That looks like the one I did last week. 8 by 20? 8 by 20. I'm trying to find something that would fit on the rack. Um, Deanne, I charge, well, see, mine are in Etsy, so I have to pay fees and I have to pay the shipping. So I have them in there for 25. Because after you, you know, I wrap mine in parchment paper and bubble wrap and I ship each one separately in an eight by eight by eight box. So the shipping supplies and the fees is what kills you. But I do a lot, I look around on Etsy when I have things to sell, I look around and see what everybody else is selling them for. Um, and I look to see if they're selling any I mean, I have a pretty good um, Etsy shop as far as people buying um, paint and artwork. Wasn't big on the jewelry, so. Years ago, it was big on the jewelry, remember, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and my hand-painted beads, but I don't make those anymore either. My eyes are shot. That's one that I just washed. Where'd you find that? On the ground. Yeah, it fell off the table over there. So, um, Maria wants to know what gadget you're using. Maria wants to know. Yeah. At home, let me go in my toy box. I think he's going to do a flip and drag because he just did one of those last week. So he doesn't like to repeat himself. <laughs> this is why I say to him every, every Monday, well, so what are you painting? Before we go live so that he'd have an idea. As I walk in the door from work. <laughs> bigger toy box. You're not getting a bigger toy box. I'm actually going to clean that one out and get rid of it. It's always in my way when I'm mixing paint. Come on, Bo. Hurry up. I'm sitting here looking at a blank screen. You should see the looks I'm getting. I'm not, I'm just like, you have like other things you could play with that you haven't played with in a long time, but let's go ahead. So can I ask you what you're going to do? You can ask. But you don't know. <coughs> Got me all choked up now. I can drink my tea. I got more in the fridge over there. I don't think there's any water in there. Um, so I'll keep it up all night. There you go. He's choking over here, guys. Between him and I coughing this week, it's not even funny. The heat was unbearable yesterday. Yeah, it was. Thank God I was only out there for eight hours. You should see the back of his neck. 
he's got different colors <laughs> from different t-shirts <laughs> what what colors would you say well right now it looks really really dark tan but if i pull your shirt down a little farther it's red <laughs> okay brian's folding clothes you should be picking blackberries Because all the mic is at the bottom, you really should get a stir stick. <laughs> I want to get him more organized with his toys because he has some things he's got way too many of them. All right, so he's using a Payne's Gray base. I don't know why the camera's doing that either. In my notes yet? Yes, this one we always put gunmetal in, Maria, in the paint spray. very similar to our moody blue in the jar. Oh no, Linda. At least you said almost, right? You didn't drop it, did you? I know I want to do a bloom with that moody blue. Jenny Post did one with the moody blue. It was beautiful. She used it for the cell activator. I bet it'd be pretty with the silver. Doesn't she also use fruits? Yeah, that was that time she did that. Yeah. Um, I think that one's folk art, Mary. WD-40 silicone spray for your gadget, which is a citrus juicer. I actually have more toys than he does out here. <laughs> Like that calendar that he used, that's one of mine, but I let him use it. That's going to be interesting because the paint's not going to come out of the bottom. Yeah, that's going to be cool. You you just watch. I it's going to blow you, your mind. Are you going to wear an apron or are you just going to hope? Yeah, you're, I probably. You're going to really try to get paint on your shirt. <laughs> so I have another paint, or another shirt to put in the paint pile. Okay. Was brand new one from Old Navy. <laughs> nice going. That's why I don't buy anything expensive because I always get paint on it. That lemon lime shimmer would look beautiful on that paint spray. That'd be pretty. Beach retreat. You need a contrast. You could do like a indigo or a moody blue even would be the contrast. <clears throat> Stormy weather. 
Oh, Cheryl. <laughs> Somebody was calling for a chestnut bronze, too. I okay. dropped one painting so far. In all the years that I've been doing this, I've only dropped one. I've dropped none. But I've only been doing it for two years, so. Nate, stormy weather. Again, all these paints have silicone in them. Beach Retreat Shimmer. Did you find the uh, formula for that? No. Chestnut Bronze. No, and I only have six jars left. So it's going to be a whole different dye lap. Lemon Lime Shimmer. So I probably should change up the order just a little, don't you think? What was the third one? Chestnut Bronze. Um. No, I think you'll be all right with the way you are. You might want to maybe throw a white in there or something, or a pearl, or a... a How about Snow White Iridescent Pearl? No, I was going to say a, a interference color. Violet, or... Okay. I think that would be cool in between those two, the way you have them spaced. Golden Interference Violet. Nothing up my sleeve yet. Uh, Fran, yes, I did. Because it's paint and primer, so you only have to put one coat on. The interference violet. Chestnut brands. Not too much of that paper to take over. Same with the lemon line. And he's got about 10 different juicers. Courtesy of all our fans. Well, some of them we picked up at the beach, and then we went to TJ Maxx, and we found one there. And we haven't really looked at any gadgets lately, because we just don't go into a shop for that stuff. I rarely leave the house, so. Time for a drag. Are you going to drag or are you going to pick up and run? Ooh. Interesting. You may have to put more paint in, huh? Ooh, I like when you turned it out. I would reload it and do it again. Ooh, that's pretty. I like when you turned it and gave it that swoop. That swoop. Oh, my ear just popped. I'm kind of looking forward to going to the doctor Wednesday, that's for sure. <laughs> Just colors, babe. A variation on the flip and drag. A 
dump and run. Dump and run. <laughs> oh, I love those colors. I'm so glad you used that chestnut brown. Thank you, Maria, for the suggestion. I listen once in a while. I have ears. Are you referring to my Facebook post? I gotta get. You gotta bear the top. Yeah. Love how you're doing your tilt and turn. Hey, I'm just glad we're not getting mustard, ketchup, and hot dogs, guys. <laughs> Remember? Red, yellow, and red ochre. <laughs> I like what's going on in here. I know. I hate to see I lose some. Is there too much on there? I need poker. Here. I'm just going to grab a new one. I don't think so. Yeah, that's too much. You're going to have to dump some. I would, I can't even suggest which way to go because it's so pretty. I hate to see you lose any of it. not bad down there. It's not bad there. You just have a pile here that you have to get rid of. Otherwise, it'll okay, crack. I know where it's going, then. It's just the one spot he's got. Yeah, I'd like to try that with a bloom. That'd be pretty. <laughs> Brian's going, don't, don't. <laughs> He's just stretching it out, right? I think you're good now, babe. Looks like butterfly wings. This looks like a butterfly against the windshield. Touching that sucker again. Leave it alone. <laughs> if he does that, shall he'll get his uh, cell stretched out. He'll get all wonky. Okay, the chainsaw. Cut it in half. I think this is going to look cool when it dries. Mm -hmm. You got a spot? Oh, yeah. We got lots of spots. I think we'll do, I'll do some box tops. Look at all the skins here. Let's 
There's only one bad thing about gadgets. Cleaning up? She makes me clean it before I go to bed. I do. I'm tired of a wet bucket or a bucket full of crap out here all week. Uh, Monica, right now the paint sale is on until the 31st. So you still have four more days on that one. And that's just for the jars. So you can get 12 jars for 100 bucks, or you can get 16 jars for 125 or 28 jars for 225 and that's all free shipping. Um, just email me at christinawelchart at yahoo.com. Um, if you want to see the colors, you can go to my Etsy shop and look at all the colors and pick out which ones you want and just email me your color selections. You're up. Yep, I'm gonna need my chair for this one. Top that. Top that. Top that. That's easy. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh. I'll grab a couple. I'm going to spin a couple of box tops, guys. Let's blow me. These are just the little, um, the little boxes like we sell. Good evening, Valerie. Glad you could join us. This is what I do with them. So these are resined. I tape that edge as close as I can. I like to leave just a tiny lip. So when I put the gold paint on there, I have to put that one in the Etsy shop yet. All right, let me grab a few colors. Grabbing all the interference colors because I'm black. <laughs> Cheryl says, Mama 4, I love it when you use your mom voice. Me? No. Oh. Mama 4. She's telling everybody, be nice now. Why were they not being nice? O'Brien made a comment that it was so funny he forgot to laugh. Oh. Brian's a snarky little fellow. <laughs> Shelly's got a question for you. The box top on the right, did you get it from Hobby Lobby too? Yep. This one has hinges. I have a little ding there, but that's the resin will fill that, so we don't have to worry about that. Autofocus is not playing well tonight. It is not. I'll put that there for a second. All right, we're just going to do interference colors, so it should be pretty easy. But I'm going to use a different hair dryer on these. This is the other Revlon one that comes with the hair brushes. I like it for these smaller ones because it just blows that um, cell activator out. Uh, Patricia Dennis wants to know, where did you purchase the turntable? <laughs> I have this in my Amazon shop. It's a cake turner. All right. I'm centered. You're not quite. You're kind of off awesome. That's pretty close. Evil's wobble. Thank you, Shelly. 
She puts the blank for you, Patricia. And our moderator's great. We have the best moderators ever. I think I'll keep them. <laughs> All right, let's use, okay. So I'm gonna use a rabbit's egg. This is a bling it from Color Art. I don't have our colors mixed up for blooms, guys, so we're gonna use Color Art. And I think I'll put gold diamond on there. It's actually called golden diamond. So when you have them in these cups, guys, remember to stir them well because those micas fall to the bottom. Maria posted the dryer brush link. I'm going to put a little sea goddess on top of that one. sell activators. They're on top of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. I just need the black. See the Sleeping Beauty turquoise jar right in front of you? There's right on top. Yes, the black. The black. It's beach retreat. Well, one of those. That's Sleeping Beauty. Sorry. Sorry, Charlie. That's a good question, Brian. Where is Nate? Nate's going to school. And working. All right, let me move this stuff because we're going to spin it too. So okay. Lynn Brown wants to know, do you make about an ounce of color art at a time? I just make one of these usually three quarters of the way full at a time. If you keep them... Hang on, <laughs> so I don't think this one's plugged in. No, nope. can you plug me in? Um, I keep them stored one on top of the other. So eventually the weight keeps them sealed pretty tight. If, they are, if they're too thick, just add a little bit of um, varnish to them. Holly There you go. Thank you, sir. You're going to love this one. Beth Benson said her husband just said goodnight to Christine and Alan, and as he toddled off to bed, didn't say goodnight to me. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Is anything coming up? Let's see what happens when we spin it. So Annette Schultz wants to know, does anyone or if they have a tear in the canvas, can it be fixed? You can repair it from behind, but you'll have to put a fresh coat of gesso on it. So you can glue it behind. Um, I know you can even use a, like a fabric tape and then make sure you put some glue over it and then re-gesso your canvas. I don't think I'm going to get any more. All right, let me spin that one out and see what happens. I'm not going to get much spin off that I have to worry about.
So that might open up a little bit more as it sets. One spot here that didn't cover though. But other than that, it covered pretty well. I don't like that big goob there, but. If I put another cell activator on top and blow it out, it's not going to fix it. But it's pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. I'm not going to get away from this blue paint tonight, look. No, you're going to be wearing it. <laughs> So Sulin Dino wants to know, is the base house paint or just acrylic? It's house paint mixed with, okay, what I do is two cups of house paint and a quarter cup of GAC 800 and a little tiny bit of water just to get it so everything's the same consistency. Can you yes, yes. cut me? Just I need two. Do one more. Come on, I think you should do three. <laughs> Who's a goober? Kristen's calling somebody a goober. Probably Brian. <laughs> we all pick on Brian. Brian better get used to it because when we go to the retreat next year at Beach House, we're going to pick on Brian, right? How many days, Brian? Okay. This one I'm going to need some tacky strip. Brian is upset, too. Why is Brian upset? Because he's doing the same as what you are, and he says, don't look as nice. Well, Brian, you can't dip your hair dryer in your painting. Or your beard. Or your beard, yeah. I, maybe you... Too much? Can you stick it on there because my fingers are open? Where do you want it? There and there. One on each side. Then you have to be perfect. Then stick. Just stick it on there. Then you stick them. Maybe your paint's too thin, Brian. I have to watch your video again and see if I can critique it a little. Brian says I should do one. Ellen does a good job doing these, too. Ellen's got paintings for sale like these, huh? Small ones. Make sure I have enough on there. All right, let's do... I want to do that sea goddess again. Then I'm going to put some interference green on top of that because that's going to give us a different shade of green. So when I do the black ones, I don't put a lot of colors on them because you just don't, they don't pop. The interference colors make it pop. Linda, Brown, or Linda Brown's calling for Firefly. That's what's going next. <laughs> Love it with the black on top. This when you get the black cell activator on this, you get a bunch of different colors. It's really pretty. I need to move that back over. Got a bunch of bubbles. I'm gonna push it and then push it back. It's got bubbles. I know, because I stirred them. See, and a torch doesn't touch them. I 
I got a bunch of brand new ones up in the cup that Jen sent us a while ago. Linda also wants to know, is your black CA, is it Amsterdam? Yeah, uh, no, it's golden carbon black. It's also Aussie Flow Draw. You can see that firefly making the purple already. Pretty. All right, let's hope it works this time. Kathy Carr just joined us. She's like, I am so, so late. It's all right, Kath. Better late than never, Kath. Let me see back a little bit over. So we're going to spin it out anyway. Kathy, I checked the P.O. box today. Nothing. Nothing. No sign of anything. This is so pretty here. Oh, there is one good thing, Kathy. You didn't miss everything because it's all recorded, so you'll be able to go back and watch it later. She does, too. Hello, Jen. Glad you could join us. Give me something. There it comes. It's coming now. She's got the tracking number. She said, ready for delivery. She's going to send it to you in email. All right. Sounds good. I can't wait. <laughs> Alan loves getting packages out of that post office box, don't you? Yeah, you always send it great. She does. She's awesome. Great little packages. I know we need to do those clocks. I was telling her we need to do those. Okay, let's spin it. Now that we've gotten something coming up in the middle. I just want to open that up just a smidge more. Ooh, that's pretty. I wish they could see the purple. They can't see the purple. So it's green and purple. And I have a little bit of gold through here. You know what it looks like? What's it look like? It looks I like, like this spidery look there that I blew out with my mouth. Looks like a fly flying right at you. No, he doesn't have beady eyes. Yes, he does. Where? Okay, I got those bubbles popped. I'm a stickler with bubbles on these. Yeah, splat. Splat? <laughs> Daniel Bixby says, very beautiful. All right, so that box is a weird box. It's like deeper. Okay. Look. You got one BDI over here. Okay, so it's a one-eyed fly. <laughs> You're a goof. Gra grab the other one like this one. The other box top. I wish you guys could see that purple. It's it's very faint in the middle, but here it's like very prominent. This one? Yes, sir. Oh, that one's very pretty. Yeah. Oh. 
on. I grab a pink. Not a pink there. Cheryl says that's a, an amazing color palette. Yeah, I'm glad I have the video to go back on because I write all my recipes down. So when I make something, if I'm like, oh, that's so pretty, I'll remember which ones I put in there. Brian says, well, that one just sucks. <laughs> it's so mean to me. <laughs> Oh, Tammy, you're more than welcome anytime. Just give a little advance notice and wait until we get the garage cleaned up. She <laughs> says she's going to come for a visit on a long weekend. Tammy Haga. Awesome. All right, let's do some pinks. I have sweet. That was I didn't a, do it. I did it with the chair. Because your it? toy box is in my way. Um... I'm always knocking stuff down. Okay. So I have Bling It Pink Parasol. Let's see if I can get the mic up from the bottom. I haven't used this one in a long time. That should be pretty with the black. And this one is Sweet Pea. And we'll put the uh, Firefly on with these too. Hello, Sandra from Brazil. Glad you could join us. That one might be a tad too thick. Might be okay. I was going to put some ruby red. I might do that too and then put the free shot in there. I think I might have enough black. Oh yeah. We have enough. Actually, I have enough for one more. <laughs> Got time for two more. No. Uh, okay, let's do let's do this one first. This one was the sweet pea. No, yep, sweet pea. I could do these all the time, guys. I just love doing these. Lori says the house must be so clean. Best <laughs> <laughs> joke we heard all night. <laughs> All right, this one's ruby red. Let's try it. Don't let her kid you guys. Her OCD just. I think that's why I'm having trouble breathing because my house is a mess. Well, my house isn't bad because I had a cleaning lady here last last week. Two week, weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So my house isn't bad. It's the studio. And I vacuumed yesterday. It's just, I'm going to admit it, and you guys are going to hear it right now, because I don't admit this too often. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I'm admitting it. I'm so used to being that person that had a garage sale every year and got rid of stuff. Well, because I don't have a garage now, I don't have garage sales. Because I'd have to come through the studio with all that stuff, and I just don't do it. Brian wants me to do one. Go pick one out. All right, let's put the cell activator on. So I'm admitting it. I'm a hoarder. You should see my upstairs. It's bad. It's my stuff, Alan's stuff, the boy's stuff, his brother's stuff, his mother's Brown's stuff. stuff. We get stuff everywhere. Yep. My son came out here the other day and said to me, Mom, you need to get this stuff cleaned up because I'm not cleaning this house out when you die. <laughs> I was like, gee, thanks, Jake. <laughs> He's got OCD worse than I do. All right. Let's go. Ooh. 
That's all right. This has got to come together yet. Let's see if there's anything in that middle. I can get, get to it. Works calling. I'll pop a few air bubbles. Spin. Let me see if I can get the little ones out. Oh, yeah. Yes. They're gone now. All right. Here we go. I don't think I'm going to spin it again. Thanks, Gath. I'm looking over at the screen real quick while Ellen's out. I already told my kids when I get old, I'm going to move in with them and I'm going to leave my shoes everywhere and leave my dirty dishes everywhere and do exactly what they did to me. <laughs> you know what they say to me? Who said you're coming to live with me? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I get a cup set up. So these sides will be gold, but I can probably do silver on that one. All right, you want to do one? Grab a box. Tough. Brian called. I'll uh, wipe this off for you. Brian called me out on this. So I got to show Brian how to do this. Oh boy. <laughs> you two better stop. Okay, so Kathy Carr wants to know, do you do the sides after resin? Yes, I leave the tape right on them while I resin them. Then I take it off and I paint them. And I'll tell you, that gold gilding paint stinks, just so you know. I clean my brush with alcohol instead of uh, mineral spirits. I would change the top for you, but you're just going to get it all black again anyway. So. Did you get a box out? I did. Okay. I changed your tape. Do you know what color you want? Just tell me and I'll pick for you if you tell me what shade you want. You want reds, greens, gold, you know. I'll pick them for you. I kind of already did some blues and silvers, so. so let's brighten things up a little. Let's go reds and yellows and oranges. And... That's good. All right, let me take these out and I'll give you, I'll give you one of each of those that you asked for. I'll leave the gold diamond there because you might need that. If you can't find them in your local stores, you can also buy uh, the Gilded Pens on, online, correct? Not pens. Or paint, sorry. Hobby Lobby has it, guys. Yeah, 
Use your 40% off coupon and get it. That's what I have to do. Or 50% if you're lucky. All right. I got you. So I picked you hot cinnamon, sunset glow, and daffodil. I'll stir them for you. We need to, oh, this one's getting hard. See, Brian, you got to get yourself a Tina so she can set you up for these things. Nick <laughs> Allen sheet, huh? I don't know if you're going to be able to use the daffodil. I might have to go each a different one. Oh, let's use it. It's too thick. Ooh. It's too thick, and I'm not going to make you wash this. Oh, aren't you happy? We'll do sunflower. Brian's jonesing for green. Sorry, Brian. All right, so this is sunflower. I think that one might be okay because I used it the other day. This will be the last one, too. I don't mind doing these boxes because they're easy to store. Hello, okay. TJ. I know when I saw everybody saying hi to TJ, I'm like, wait a minute, TJ's not here. <laughs> Our TJ. All right, so let's put this next to last. So what you're going to do is go sunset, yellow, red, golden, and then the black cell activator. Get that poly out of there. Okay. Black down. That's good. Always do that. Do what? You need to roll your jug, bro. She's yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you, big crybaby. <laughs> Go call your mama. Don't be talking about my mama. It says you act like you know me. <laughs> I don't think he's talking to us, though. Well, you really stirred that up, didn't you? What'd you say? My air bubbles. All right, I'll spin out and then I'll pop them. We'll see how you do with that hair dryer. Are you going to blow up my mouth? Are you trying to insinuate something there? No. Let me see. My name's not Missy. Missy. Um, Fran, I get it from Wholesale Painting on eBay. All he has right now are the 500 mils. And they're expensive. They're like $42. I'm trying to get Alan to uh, figure out what the ingredients are. Yeah, I'm going to make it myself. We make it, we'll sell it as bloom juice. <laughs> Not too heavy on that thing. Secrets that last drop, Brian. <laughs> Straight down and wiggle. One click. And let it fill up. You 
can blow it out with a straw and you can't use my turkey baster because it's got my germs on it. Your cooties? Yeah, my cooties. Don't laugh at my bald spot. <laughs> I told you, don't laugh. I didn't see it. Is the post office box? Yes. Yes. Kathy. Oh, don't blow too hard. All I want to do now is blow down in to bring some of those colors up. Gently. Gently. In the black, baby, not in the color. Can I look? You can look. I'm gonna come peek. Ooh, pretty. What's that color? It's gotta be the sunset glow. See if you can, uh, Bring something up here and maybe right there. Someday you and I are just going to sit and make tons of tiles. Okay, let it sit for a minute. Pink hair. <laughs> that glare. Turn that turntable. Hmm. Doesn't matter which way we go. Still gonna have that. Hmm. When you spin it, it's gonna open it up anyways. I'll do that. Got my apron on, so. Yeah, you should be all right. Good night, Madonna. Don't do that. Don't do what? Don't keep pushing it. Because it was it takes the centrifugal force out when you do that. Don't do that. It's like you blew too hard in that one spot. How about we rebore this one? Right over the top of it. Um... The stuff that I have on there, Cheryl, is pretty much stuff that we use every day, except for, like, of course, the stapler and stuff. But, you know, as far as the supplies. So just put the base colors over again? No, you're going to put black again. He's going to re-pour this one, guys, because he blew too hard in that one spot, and he's kind of bald. Well. On, your, on, your, <laughs> on your box top, not your head. Oh, did I already take it away from you? I'm sorry. Okay, Brian wins. Not yet. If I had to say a priority item on that list would probably be like the butane fuel and pads, gloves. It's hard to say for sure. They're all equally the same. <laughs> Good night, Susan. Yep, Bloom Part 2.
maybe that's what it was. Maybe you didn't put enough color on. I put plenty of color on. I don't think I put enough cell activator in. That could be it too. It's so weird to watch it backwards because your hand's not that hand. <laughs> I see it backwards. I'm going to put a little more in. Just a smidge. Okay, that should work. Um, can you move those containers now, though? Because that's going to slide off of that spinner. Just slide them to the back. I got to thin them out a little bit. Okay, get your head dry. Just don't overwork it with the hair dryer because that'll make the paint skin. Even though it's not cool, it still does it. All right, don't push it because it'll go off and off that way. you're going to end up with the same problem. I just want to push it over for you. He overworked it to the wood bry on that other one, so it wasn't going to move. So as soon as I get the studio revamped and get my art house filled, I'm going to start back on the virtual lessons. If anybody wants to take FaceTime lessons, I'll put more information about that in the group when I decide to do that. I think this is going to spin off, huh? It might. I go one more. The opposite direction or the same? No, same direction. That's better. I can see where that spot went over. You have one spot there that needed to go. Pretty, pretty. Lift it up so they can see it. Gorgeous. That'll probably get a few more cells in the black yet before it dries. Good job, babe. I like your little butterfly wing over there on the side. Yeah. Oh, wait. You know, over here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good job, babe. So thanks, guys, for watching. We're a little over past 11. I'm sorry about that, but we were just having fun. Um, we'll be back next Monday night. I don't know what kind of videos I might put up this week. I might do some more tiles or maybe some functional art. We'll see. Or maybe she'll just have somebody follow behind her with the camera when she's cleaning up her garage. <laughs> How to clean your studio. <laughs> That'd be a good one. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. And uh, take care. Stay safe. Wear your mask. We're all good, right? Okay.
Have a good evening. Bye Be now. safe.